Hi guys, and welcome back to another commentary. And no, this is not my avatar. The only reason I decided to skip back to the video is only because of two things. One, I don't have a YouTube downloader. Thank you for stating the obvious, Captain Obvious. We can obviously see that you are recording with your camera. And we can obviously see that you are not using a YouTube downloader. Two... I don't, this took me forever to figure it out, and I still can't figure it out, so I'm just not going to use it. And three, um... So your number two reason was that you, it was way too hard for you to use the downloader? That's it? Why didn't you say it in the first reason? Seriously. And there is this thing called scripting, right? LEARN IT! He criticized me for being a Sonic fan. I wasn't going to use their carpet, but it, it will just take up lots of parts in the video. So, um, yeah. Let's get right onto the commentary. Hello, and welcome to a commentary. Oh, and by the way, we Teen X, I don't care if I'm pissing you off or not, but how about you get a different camera? Because the quality of your camera while recording Modern Dave's commentary on you, I mean, it, it just sounds like a piece of shit. Go get, fix the quality next time. Or even better, just get a, another fucking camera. I'm your host, Modern Dave. Today's commentary is going to be on somebody's first commentary, re 15. And this user decided to do a video on Ben the Looney. Yeah. Like we haven't seen a billion videos on that hypocrite. Usually these type of videos or commentaries are just a b bunch of fanboys bitching at him saying, You like me still, it doesn't like adventure time, I hate your poor in hell. You know that doesn't happen for all the videos, right? I mean, really, is it that hard tearing apart his video? I mean, it's flawed like Swiss cheese. But this one takes the cake. I mean it. This makes Lyric Shooter look like young blood by comparison. I'm dead serious. Why are you comparing YouTube users? Just to show how bad your video was? And I really don't have a problem if you want to compare a bad commentator or somebody else to a YouTube, another YouTube user. I really don't see a problem with that. That's not even that funny anyway. Let's watch this You do know that was not supposed to be a joke, right? Dave was just showing how bad your video was by comparing Lyric Shooter to Youngblood Fantasy. So, is there really a problem of comparing YouTube users? Because I really don't have a problem with it. I will Beagle Mare that is known as a commentator. <sighs> Oh, God, we teens a Sonic fan. So what? See, that's the problem. The problem is that most people, even if they have Sonic, even in a video, they automatically criticize it. Well, I criticized you for using Sonic as your avatar back from back then. You want to know why? Because using Sonic as an avatar is old news. Like Pinkie Pie, for example. She has been used by avatars by a lot of people, like Steven the Master, me, and other people. So, yeah. Never ever use Sonic as an avatar again, because he's old news as an avatar. You, I mean, you can go use a different avatar. Like, for example, you can... Choose Zidane from Final Fantasy 9. You can choose Squall Leonard from Final Fantasy 8. Or Tifa Lockhart, Roxas, or Conquer, etc. So, yeah. What's the big deal? And trust me, this is the only time I'm going to see. And he will do this. Well, he won't do this. But still, it's annoying. I have to do this, but 
This is gonna be my first comment day. And this coming Oh yeah, and this will definitely we get him that's where he criticized himself because this is my first commentary. You know, and this is definitely gonna kick him in the butt at the end of this video. It's gonna be on Ben Baloney. Or Puppy's Old Man 4. He goes by Ben Baloney now. He hasn't used his old account in like two years. So, it was his old account. I was just referring to that as a reference. Ben? What's wrong with pointing out that Ben hasn't even used his Puffy Zilla Man 4 account for like two years right now? I really don't have a problem with it. Oh, and here's something I can get on Modern Dave's ass for. Modern Dave, you made this commentary back in 2012, right? Well, you shouldn't have said one year ago for Ben the Looney's old account Puffy Zilla Man 4. When you made that commentary on the previous year, which was 2012, because he, Ben the Looney, is hasn't even used his Puffy Zilla Man 4 account anymore since 2011. So I believe that you just got your script wrong, or you just did your research wrong. My final guess: research wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. The Looney is the most accurate name I've ever heard on YouTube. He criticizes new shows and mainly thinks about old ones. And yet he admits to liking Gravity Falls and Friendship is Magic. Good research there. But those are pretty much the only shows he's really centered around. See, that's the problem with Ben the Looney. He is stuck in the past. Ben is not stuck in the past, he's just nostalgic. And you do know Ben does not like every 90s show, right? There are some classic shows that Ben doesn't like. So yeah, we Teen X, do your research. He all, he always, he, he does hate, um, old videos, but he also dislike and criticizes every new one that comes out. Yes, it may, it may come to like ones, but it's only limited to Gravity Falls, My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, The Simpsons, and probably Phineas and Verb. That's it. He criticizes every new show out there, which is fine me to do a commentary of his Red 2 video. So, him ranting on newer shows inspired you to do a commentary on him reviewing a TV special? I don't get the thought process behind that choice. It was sort of a late Halloween special. I didn't have time to do it on the actual Halloween because I was busy. Sorry. Sorry about that anyway. Go to my computer. Come. You know what yeah. I mean? Oh, oh God, no! Don't you even! Oh boy! Here we go! Oh God! Oh, you couldn't even get a fucking YouTube downloader. Again, YouTube downloaders are hard to come by. YouTube downloaders are not even hard to use. I mean, take Real Play for example. That shit, that piece of shit is easy. I mean, if you want to download a video, just copy the link and paste the link. And then when you see the download a video post at the top of the video that you're watching, just click on it and then click convert. And then, and you want to... And you have to choose a console or any other thing so you can get the thing downloaded. Just use Xbox 360. And once you click on Xbox 360, then click on download. And then download. It works perfectly. And besides, it is free. 
it took me all day yesterday to figure out, and I still only got like one video uploaded. It barely uploaded any videos, it just messed with my computer. I'm done with YouTube downloaders. I don't even know how you, how you guys do a YouTube download on YouTube anyway. Please refer so, to one of my YouTube last statements as I am not repeating video. myself. Why would you go down the same dark path as serious hedgehog co and coffee lover? Just. Just. God! No comment. To the continuation of our story. Oh! What the hell did you say, oh god, for? What, were you just looking at a hot chick or something? Wow, that is a great looking gnome. I could have um... him protecting my azalea bushes. Anyway, what's next on the menu for Oktoberfest? <gasps> no! 17 hours later. Oh! Uh... Okay, is this really important at all to the story? Story? What story? This is a review, not some original YouTube video. What? What is this like the equivalent to a Linkara episode? Um, you do. I meant to say video, but I actually, actually said story. Also, again, sorry about that. We teen, saying sorry just because you made a mistake isn't gonna do a damn thing. Because even though you made a mistake. You're still going to get criticized for it, whether you like it or not. And I believe that statement right there was a bit pointless. Well, folks, I love you And guess how long he goes on And guess how long he goes on for? Uh-oh. Two minutes. Wow. That's a two minutes he's never going to get back. Dude, it's two minutes. Two fucking minutes. It's not that hard to sit through. First of all, that was like two to three minutes. We teen, you do realize that Ben makes his jokes a bit longer just for humor. He just wants to make his videos funny for entertainment. I mean, I will agree that some of his jokes absolutely fail, but still, he's doing it just for Humor! Get that through your fucking skickhead, you little bastard. Still, even though it was two or three minutes, it was just a crappy joke one that got really old. Uh, we teen, if some Ben the Looney fan likes that joke, that is their opinion. Just accept it. And there's another joke that also gets really old throughout the entire video. Again, so, yeah. he's making these kinds still, of jokes even those two over minutes, and over again, it still just gets for pretty fucking freaking humor. old, really freaking fast. Uh, well, let's get this over with. Hopefully my blood loss will knock me out quickly so I don't have to sit through all of this. Oh, boy. Come on, no slider <laughs> mark. Uh. No, there's the... Oh no, Weetie X says, Ugh, he's a zombie, run away. <laughs> it's an odd feeling that he's going to be doing this throughout the entire commentary. I, I bet instead of criticizing on the video itself, he's just going to criticize on how bad the quality is. And let's see if I'm right. And she was replaced by a man named Mr. Devlin. Well, two minutes and I already don't care about what the heck's going on. Good job, movie. Anyway, as Brett continues talking to the non-existent audience that doesn't watch his movies, Brett thinks that he is being stalked by a girl on his way home from school. I paid good money for that assassin. She better get her job done. Uh Ooh, nothing but silence throughout the entire video. Can you easily hear the you know, all the talking in the background? Uh, I mean, look, a moose. Oh my god. Just get on with it already. Uh oh. So trying to be funny in a rant slash review is a no-no apparently? Well, it's a good thing that we have we Teen here to help us guide us through this trike. Um, again, though that joke wasn't even near perfect funny. Again, 
if somebody likes that joke, that's good for them. That is their opinion. Accept it. That that joke was just plain crap. Trust me. Uh, just just go on with the video. So, it flashes back to Frank being stalked by the girl, and he runs away from her and jumps into a kiddie pool, where a kid happens to be swimming in it. It's time for everybody's favorite game, What Happens Next? The crappy game that nobody wants to play. Ah, oh, screw this. Please refer to one of my last statements as I'm not fucking repeating myself. I'm not gonna go through this. Anyways, I'm just gonna skip that part. You're not even gonna try and bash that sketch. Because that part was kind of pointless in the whole video. Again! Refer to what I said about Ben making jokes, cause... You know what, we teen? No. I'm not gonna keep on repeating myself. How about you figure this out yourself? Ben is trying to make jokes just for entertainment. So there. Please remember that in your fucking head. Because I am not your mother. And you're growing up, we teen X. By the sound of it, you are. And I'm not going to keep on holding your hand. You figure this out on your own. I'm not your fucking teacher. I just wanted to get that video over so I wanted to sit through that whole thing. Then that means he's going to be doing this through the entire commentary. Which means I'm going to be stuck with this guy. And that's the end of the video, but we're not done yet, people, because we still have to take a look at the second part of his commentary on Modern Dave. Let's end this bullshit. Previously on We Teen X? Really? What, are we watching a episode of Avatar The Last Airbender or something? tripod to hold your camera at least with coffee lover he used one to hold his camera and not go shaky cam on us you realize that was the first time i made videos right so making commentaries on somebody's first ever commentary is a big no-no so that means Guri Garlo X or any other people can't even commentate on my first ever commentary, which was a piece of shit back then? Nice logic, kid. Not. Also, even though it's your first time commentating, you're still gonna get criticized for it, whether you like it or not. Then again, you are a kid, and you don't even know any better, so... This advice that I'm giving you right now is for you, so here you go. And people, if you want to know what my first ever commentary was, my first ever commentary was my commentary on Bieber Lover 1234 co-upping with Kids Gossip. And people, you should watch Guri Golo X's commentary on that commentary of mine because that commentary that I made was fucking terrible. So terrible that it makes you want to bleed your eyes. No downloader. No, um, like, handstand or something. No camera stand. No nothing. I didn't have anything back then, so please stop talking about it. Again, even though that was your first ever video slash commentary back then, you're still going to get criticized for it whether you like it or not. My commentaries have been criticized, and do I criticize people for criticizing my videos? No. 
I just accept criticism and look at me right now. I'm trying to improve, which is you should be doing right now. He's like, I'm talking about it, is he? And the point of that statement was. No, you idiot! You're supposed to say that at the end of the video. Having stealing jokes from the nostalgia critic taught you anything? Um, who are you commenting on here? Me? He's or commenting on Ben. Duh. And don't make that awful excuse about me not saying anything. Because trust me, you're gonna realize that's how bad he is by just watching this video alone. So wait, now you're forcing Modern Dave to hate Ben's video on Fred 2? Not of the living Fred? Do you even know what the word opinion means? I mean, I watched Ben's rant on Fred 2, and I think the rant, in my opinion, is fine. What? You think Fred isn't annoying? Hmm? Class where Kevin sings, I mean, ruins Wang Chung's Everybody Have Fun Tonight. Okay, I can handle them attempting to sing 80s one hit wonders, but if they mention Pink Floyd again, I'll rip out people's rib bones and jam them in their eye sockets. Dude, that song is like the worst ever. I don't think it needs to be butchered by some teen hack. Seriously. Are you talking about me or are you talking about someone else? I don't know. Why should you care? Just get on with the video so we can get back to our lives. Pot calling the kill black mud time. Babe. Wait till I finish talking. I'm yelling at a grown man. That means I'm the boss of YouTube XD. Anyways, in all seriousness though, the reason why Modern Dave's not letting you finish talk is because he's audio ducting. Do you even know what that even means? I mean, seriously. What's wrong with Modern Dave audio ducting? I really don't have a problem with it. I mean, he's trying to point out your flaws by audio ducting, and look at you, you're getting all pissy about it. And also, would you please stop acting like a mother to a fucking child? This is the internet, not reality. At all. Maloney. So, Fred being Kevin's rival imagines them having a piano. Oh, but one. again. You're not going to listen to a thing I say, are you? Modern Dave does listen to you. It's just that you are not listening at all. For no purpose to the plot at all? I swear, you can replace a filler in these bright movies with anything and they serve more purpose to the plot. Not to mention, be the highlights of these movies. Anyway, back in the messed up reality world this human chipmunk lives in, Fred goes up to play the piano and ruins a Beethoven piece that Devlin doesn't recognize. Some music teacher you are. Everybody knows the name of... that. You know, Ben, you've admitted that you're a Beethoven fan, and yet you don't know the name of that song that Fred butchered. <laughs> kind of says a lot, don't you think? Um, I'm gonna say one thing. We need a little more information, people! Fred walking home, and Fred complains about Devlin liking Kevin's performance more than Fred's. I swear, this kid would complain about anything. Oh my gosh, there's jelly in this donut! I ordered a jelly donut, but there's jelly in it! I like sauce! Wah! Okay, just tell me. Everybody, just put up a comment and tell me that isn't creepy. Or at least a bit weird nonetheless. For an adult to talk in a ten-year-old's voice. Dude, it's a fucking joke. I mean, really, it's like he discovered the internet. It's n listen. This is not a joke. This is just plain insanity. <laughs> what? Ben did make a joke. It was a fucking joke. It's just that you weren't paying attention to the fucking video at all. Now, some people may think that I'm acting like a fanboy by screaming like a fucking asshole, but I am screaming and getting all angry because 
waiting ex. He doesn't listen at all. And what he said is just driving me into insanity. It just shows that he can't that he doesn't listen at all. It's like, go, oh, what the fuck? I mean, seriously, Wee Team X, Ben did make a fucking joke. I mean, didn't you even listen to the fucking video at all? Ben had said this. My God, Fred will complain about anything. Oh my God, there's Jenny at my donut. It's like, ugh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> People, this kid is driving me into insanity that I am laughing my fucking ass off. Seriously, people, this commentary is so bad that it is actually hilarious. <laughs> oh man. Two, it's like you discovered the internet by making this, doing the same thing throughout the video. God. Anyway, the girl that was stalking Fred is Natalia, and it turns out she's a ghost. Take it. I should have known better than hiring from Ghost Assassins, Inc. So, Fred talks to Ghost Talia, and she wants a hug. Fred tries to hug her, but he falls down the stairs. Trust me, this will get annoying later. Sadly, that's not the end. It's just the formula of these movies to tease the audience into thinking they're going to kill off Fred. Anyway, Fred's invited to a party at Kevin's house, and he goes into the kitchen and opens the fridge, and guess who's in it? Yep, it's WWE superstar John Cena, here to collect another paycheck for his pointless cameo. So, WWE superstar John Cena encourages Fred to go to the party. During their conversation, WWE superstar John Cena does his stupid you-can't-see-me move, and then Fred says, yeah, I can. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I actually chuckled at something in a Fred movie. Oh no. I'm becoming a lunatic! Holy shit, waiting's gonna speak. We're just gonna skip on to the next video, because I want to get this over with as much as you do. Please refer to what I said about using real player as a YouTube downloader at part one of this commentary as I am not repeating myself. Holy shit, waiting's gonna speak. What's he gonna say? Okay. I don't know what is going on here, but seriously, you better lose it. You need to grow up. Oh, my lord. What was the point in that comment? That didn't add anything. It wasn't constructive. It's not even funny. And how was him finding something funny turning him insane supposed to show his immaturity? For the people... Um... It was constructive. It could be considered funny. And trust me... Once you see see more of his videos, you'll know how Ben Looney is such he has a stupidity at times. Yeah, Ben will show his stupidity at times, but still, I'm pretty sure that is still considered a good point. Because you know what I find stupid about the whole Ben grow up thing? He is. He is growing up. T Nowadays, he's 20 years old now. So, he's 20 years old now, and he is, oh, I don't know, growing up. And he's acting mature by respecting people's opinions. And, well, acting mature. So, there was really no point of that statement. 
precise and even bigger lunatic. Oh, my bad. I meant insane and saner. You don't even know how to spell insane. More insane, not insaner. Are you a second grader? Because I bet you don't even know. Oh, let's just get on with this video before I get a headache. I find irony of that statement since your commentary is giving me a fucking headache. His mom then hits on Devlin. Meanwhile, Bert finds out that Talia is Kevin's sister and... Wait a minute, didn't Talia say that she was a ghost earlier? How the truck is this working out? Oh, let me guess. That was just another one of Brett's stupid fantasies. Did you really think Talia was a ghost? Or was this another one of your failed jokes? Movie? Do you want to know why you shouldn't have pointless fantasies in a movie? One, they're pointless. Two, they confuse the viewers. Three, they're pointless. And four, they're pointless! Okay. Alright, we get it. Get on with it. Uh, we teen-ex, about, about you saying get on with it back at your we teen 15 channel, there is only one statement that can describe your statements. Get on with it. Here it is. Get on with it. Yes, get on with it. Get on with it. Will you stop repeating that fucking line? It's more annoying than a Looney Tunes gag. Oh no. You do not have the right to, to say that, he re that I repeated stuff. Of all people, you repeated stuff in the video by constantly repeating about my quality. Then the Looney Tunes repeat the same Looney Tunes. Dude, Modern Dave had repeated the same fucking thing once. He repeated the same thing about your fucking quality once. How was that? How was that constantly repeating himself? Do you even know what the word constantly means? God, seriously, Wee Teen, before you make commentaries, you should learn some words that adults say in school. It's almost like I'm the only one that didn't repeat anything. And if I did, everyone else repeat, Ben Luda repeats stuff, repeat everything, you repeat everything, why can't I? Hey, hey, we teen, you want to know why Modern Dave criticizes you for repeating yourself? It's because the way you repeat yourself in your commentary, it is annoying. All it is is get on with this, this, and get on with this, that. Blahdy, 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 blah, 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 blah. And you know what's the worst thing about this, your commentary? That's basically everything about your commentary on Ben. Seriously. That's the reason why he criticized you for repeating the same thing. Because it is getting really annoying. Oh my god. I mean, seriously, Wee Teen X, do you even listen to your own commentary on Ben? before you even uploaded it to YouTube because you should realize that your commentary on Ben is terrible because all you do is just say get on with this this and get on with it that and you act like if jokes are evil because they could take over the world seriously just next time before you make commentaries just pay attention to your commentaries so you can see the flaws that you made and you can replace it with good points. Anyway, Fred cries because he likes Talia and is sad to know that she's Kevin's sister. Don't worry, Fred. I can ease your pain. Just close your eyes and say hello to Mr. Hatchet. Sadly, murder is illegal, so I can't do that. And if you would, you'd probably ax yourself because of how ungodly annoying Ben is. I believe the term look before you leap should be important for you. Going off topic. He's going off topic because of you. All you do in the commentary is 
get on with this this and get on with it that. So he stuck with Ben throughout the entire commentary of yours. Because of these get on with this this and get on with it that. And that's basically all you do in the commentary. So yeah, that's why he's getting off topic. And that is basically your fault. Devlin, so he tries to decipher his name, but fails miserably. That night, Fred's peeping on Devlin, and Fred says, It's the middle of the night. Nobody's up this late. You're right, Fred. Nobody's up in the middle of the night, aside from lots of nighttime workers, kids' parents when the kids are at their friend's house, or little boys who are peeping in on their neighbors. Ugh. So, Fred sees Devlin burying something in his backyard, and Fred thinks that it's something that belongs to his old music teacher. Fred then starts to think that Devlin killed the old music teacher. Gee, Fred, with how easy you are to jump to conclusions, I guess you also believe the U.S. actually landed on the moon. What? You haven't heard? Uh. Oh my god, Weed Teen X is going, ugh, again. He really wants to have sex with that hot chick so badly, XD. I'm gonna have to stop the video right here. Stupid small camera quality. And that's the end of the video. And boy was there a lot of stupidity in part 2 of Wee Teen X's commentary. And people, we're not done yet. Because we... I have to wait until part 3 of his commentary on Modern Day comes. And when part 3 comes, the conclusion will come. Well, since I am your average Final Fantasy IX fan, I thought I'd use Zidane again. Uh, Zidane, it's great to have you back. Anyways, without further ado, let's continue on with our Bullshit commentary on Wii Teen X. Skipping the intro because, well, this intro is way too long. And when I mean long, I mean very long. And at first, it starts at zero and zero minutes. Zero seconds and zero minutes. And the intro ends at 3 minutes and 47 seconds. I'm dead serious. The intro ends at 3 minutes and 47 seconds. That had got to be one of the longest intros I've ever seen in my entire life. Even, even worse than Game Dude's long intro. I know, I know he's old news. But it just feels like Game Dude on crack, you know? We Teen X, if you want to make an intro, make sure it is short and simple. Don't make it 3 minutes and 47 seconds long. Because it would make the viewers all pissed off. And they want to get to the point of your commentary. So... Skippity doo da, skippity, eh? <sighs> That's right, son. Take a deep breath. Breathe. <sighs> and calm down. Always breathe before you make commentaries, my son. Because I'm a bitch. That was actually funny! Oh, thanks, man. That helps ease the dead air in here. That was lame. I am acting, XD. That is really getting old now. 
You know what else is getting old? You not saying anything. Jesus, man, you've barely said anything in this video. And every time you did say something, it's just get on with it or it's getting old now. Just say something. I do say something in this video. Modern Dave does know that you say anything in this video. I mean, aren't you weren't you even paying attention to what he was saying? He was what he was saying that Jesus dude, you didn't even say anything throughout the fucking video. And even if you did, all it is is just get on with this this and get on with it that or it's getting old and bloody bloody but I gotta get the blah. I mean, seriously, weren't you paying attention to the video at all? I mean, seriously, he does know that you say anything in this video. It's just that you are not listening at all. Oh, and before we continue, I'm just going to keep on pointing out your hypocrisy right here. Remember what you said that Modern Dave doesn't even listen to you in one of your parts of your commentaries? What, on this video? Well, guess what? That is hypocritical, since you don't listen to what Modern Dave always says. So, you know what? You know what, we Teenex? Keep on doing it. Keep on showing your hypocrisy, because it is actually hilarious. S so yeah, anyways, continuing on. At least more important than what you say. Second thing, why didn't you th Seriously, I'm really getting tired of try trying to constantly, um, to complain about my quality of my video. I'm trying to try to play, complain about me not saying anything. Ugh, just continue. Oh my fucking god! I hate repeating myself, but I had to do it anyways. <sighs> okay. We Teen X. Listen, alright? Hear me out, alright? Okay? Alright. <clears throat> Modern Dave did not complain about your fucking quality constantly. He repeated the same thing about your quality only once. Once. Once, 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 once. O-N-C-E. Once. Are you really that fucking deaf? I just... Uh. Oh my god. <laughs> People, I really don't know if I can do it. This kid is driving me into insanity. D oh my god. I, d I just. I just don't get this kid. I just don't get of how he thinks in real life. I just. just <sighs> Just continue before my head explodes. Well, it's starting to. Oh, no, no, no! That doesn't actually happen! It was just another one of Fred's bullshit fantasies! Dude, devil enduring to a fucking mosquito and sucking the blood out, Fred. Did you really think that shit actually happened? If so, then you crazy. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, I three. First of all, Get a script. So, wait a minute. If somebody says something like this, then you little piece of. Oh, wait, that's right. That means they didn't script it. So, by your logic, anybody who said something and then says, if so, oh, wait, that's right, then that means they didn't script. They didn't use a script. Your logic is really flawed, man. Seriously. Just because somebody says, Oh, wait, that's right, at the end of their sentence, doesn't doesn't really mean that they 
didn't script it. Modern Dave had script the video. I mean, seriously, he did script the video. I mean, you're you're not hearing any stuttering, right? So, yeah, shut up and pay attention next time. To stay on topic. I am shouting in the camera li loudly, XD. What, did your friend at school just force you to do, do that? Just want to show you that. Okay, we teen X, I'm going to give you the exact same advice that I give to Retard Television 190 Fails, aka RTV 190 Returns. Okay, if you want to audio duct, speak up. Seriously, kid, I don't care if your parents' room is closer to the living room or whatever the fuck you are in while recording just speak the fuck up anyways let's continue Jokes are so funny, XD, XD. Seriously, dude. You, seriously, dude, you need to get a joke book. <laughs> and, and you know who else needs to get a joke book? You, since your jokes fail miserably. And, in my opinion, Modern Dave's jokes are way better than your piece of crap jokes. So, Modern Dave is not the one who should get a joke book. You do. Long pauses Long for the sun, win? The Did you hear that, folks? If you have an allergy to the sun, you're a vampire. Somebody has been paying attention to vampire mythology. Everybody knows that vampires can go out in the sun. They are either burn up or sparkle. You are still doing the same thing since the first video. Just please. Ugh. Could you care to elaborate of what Modern Dave should stop doing? Anyway, what follows is another one of Fred's dumb Crap. fancies. This about the quality <laughs> dude just please just stop talking about the fucking quality I I do not want to keep on repeating myself just please stop please stop to be continued. I'm sorry, but we're really running out of time here, so I'm afraid it's got to be continued on another video. So until then, all I have to say is to be continued. Yeah? That wasn't creative in the slide. So wait, you criticized Modern Dave by doing part three in one, two, three, go you really couldn't criticize anything in modern Dave's video you couldn't criticize any of the flaws or you really couldn't say anything you really have to criticize modern Dave by saying part two or three in one two three go <sighs> oh my god you see, people, this is one of the examples as of why I fucking hate how kids commentate on videos. I mean, they're 
their commentary's lack of creativity, their points are not that creative, and they're so flawed that it would make your eyes bleed. It's, it's just stupid. I mean, seriously. <sighs> Whatever. Let's continue. On 1815. And now, back to Weeting 15's commentary on Ben Mooney. Mooney's rare on Fred 2, Night of the Living Fred. This time he imagines a twilight period. Also, be faithful, the camera isn't shaky this time. Okay, okay, we'll thank you for that. Alright, here we go. Thank you, Mr. I think I'm the best commentator of all time XD, even though I'm not, but still, I'm the best commentator ever XD. Alright guys, this is going to be my first real question mark video. It's pronounced Q&A, and really, I wouldn't call it that. Oh, that my last Ben the Looney rant video on Fred. To not the living Fred. Well, I found out that most people really had hateful comments to say about Fred. Well, gee, I wonder why. Is it because you said Jack fucking shit in your video? And we are going to read us some of those comments and correct on them right now. So yeah, I want to read to you a bunch of bunch of comments here that people posted. And some of these are very nasty comments, I believe. Just wondering, what are you recording? Is it a DS? And why are you using that instead of your big computer or reading the questions while showing your real face? <sighs> Alright, without further ado, let's get started. Alright, the first one is, um, ooh, um, Ben, Ben doesn't have a lot of things that are modern. He is not a nostalgic tart anymore. He likes several modern shows like MLPFIM. First of all, can you tell me what that means? It's the acronym to My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. Haven't you even heard of the show or the brony movement? And... Seriously, are you that blind? No, I am not. I'm just saying he hates most modern shows. Even though in your commentary you said that Ben criticizes every new show out there. No, I don't think your sight is the problem. I think it's your ability to use your fucking brain. I mean, some of the shows I call even I like some of those, but most of the shows he hates. I will accept those. I, bo I will accept those. But all those other shows... But he was at the couple of shows now and then, but other and shows, what are those other shows? No, he won't accept them. Now, let's move on to the next question. At the next um comment. Oh, this one has a cuss word. Why do you you take Ben's jokes too seriously? His joke is supposed to make people laugh. Why are you taking his jokes too seriously? I'm not taking his jokes too seriously. Ball. And second, his jokes aren't even funny. At least he attempts humor. All he did was just say, Burn, get on with it like a broken record. His jokes are repetitive, bland, and boring. They're not really funny at all. And one joke took like one or two minutes. That's like insane. What jokes but are you talking about? I'm not going to make it a big about. deal, but still. His jokes are bland and boring. That's all I'm going to say. Again, he attempts, right. unlike you. Another comment. Um, y you are, um, his annotations for pose, I think. You're coffee lovers. You are coffee lover 239's long lost cousin. I don't even know who coffee... Long Lover 239 is. I did watch some of his videos, though. <laughs> what the hell was up with that? You don't know him, but now you've seen his videos? 
What? You know, I'm starting to think this guy is derb for brains. Some of them are particular to mind, especially the commentary, but I am not his long lost cousin. Yeah, keep on saying you don't take jokes seriously. You're doing very well. I mean, I make spectacular videos and video game rants. He just commentates. <laughs> I've seen most of your videos, and they are about on par to some of Coffee Lover's videos. And really, that's a bad thing. And his commentates are pretty brand, I believe. I didn't know Coffee Lover was a type so, of So yeah, I am not his long lost cousin. All right, next question. Um, the quality isn't too good. Okay. Um, here's the problem about my camera. First of all, my real camera doesn't have sound effects on it, so you really won't hear me when I record on the camera. I think you mean microphone. But is the camera that's bad? No, it's the fact that you use a camera. And it also, I think it has worse quality than this. And let me let me tell you, money is hard to come by. And the only thing I have other than my old creepy camera is my 3DS. That is the only thing I record on. That's also why I can't play 3DS games. But eventually I will get a new camera and when I do I will record um, videos on that camera. I will. I will. Okay, okay, we, we believe you, man, just jeez. Now, let's move on to the next questions, because trust me, there are a lot of questions here. Um One Lost Brother again more jokes oh yeah here's here, here's another here's the last question why are you making a comment about Ben the Moon when he's always been commentated to death now that's a question I wanted to ask on myself too the only reason I wanted to commentate on him because you know first of all everybody else has already commented on him thank you Captain Obvious and that's considered a good thing to commentate on him I'm pretty sure the definition of redundancy is something you need to know. Second, you know, I think that maybe people in the world still watch Ben and Louis videos and still think they're good. Some of them are good. <laughs> I love his bipolar disorder he has going. He's all like, Bravo, the Brent Lutterman's good videos, so they're wrong. And then next is all like, Brent Lutterman's good videos. I do not credit them, but some of them are just so wacky, they deserved to be commentated. Well, it really depends on the video in general. Like if you have enough knowledge or material to defeat some of his claims. If the video is just wacky, I don't really think that's a good enough reason to commentate on it. Or anyone else should. Because, well, A... That would be pretty shallow to do, and B, he's a dead horse. And, and third, if, if you were on YouTube and you wanted to come to Ben the Looney, you would do it yourself. Because trust me, Ben the Looney is freaking, you know, Looney. And, yeah. That's, that's all to say about that. Um, yeah. So, yeah, those are all the comments I, on the video, and I hope this cleared that up. It didn't. It left me with more questions, like, why are you such a tool? Anyways, I'm gonna skip this part because all he says is why he made a two-parter, which really isn't interesting. Um, yeah, those are all the comments that I had so far on the video. I hope this will clear it up. And if you have any more comments or questions or answers, oh yeah, and before you ask this, I do not hate Ben Lui. I just despise him making these awful videos on most 
modern shows most. Uh, so, technically, you still hate Ben. Well, okay, then! Some of these shows, modern shows, he likes, and I admit it, okay? But most of the modern shows, he doesn't like. And I know he still hates old shows, but he mostly hates modern shows. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm not trying to bash on him, okay? Now, I hope this will clear it up. And if you have any more comments or questions, just put it in the comment section below, okay? So, this is Weezy next year, and I will see you on... And after that cutoff, the video ends. You know what was the most surprising thing about this? You didn't even say anything about my commentary on him. I'm not saying that as an intention whore, but still. If he was going to correct the criticisms he received, I I'm shocked. Especially on the fact that the video that I made was over a month old now. Oh well, this is Mario Dave saying, wait, what is this? We Teens Commentaries, Mario to Plumber's new sub... M Mario to Plumber, Mario to Plumber? Oh, you son of a bitch. And just when I thought this guy couldn't fail harder, just start the damn thing. Hi guys, you may have noticed I'm once again recording on my new camera. So, I have a real, real hate passion for Mario the Plumber. This guy absolutely hates Sonic and does review on some other modern games and stuff like that. But he done a review on New Super Mario Brothers 2. And it really... It, it sucks. Trust me, it really sucks. Not as hard as this video. And also, gee, I wonder why. It really, really sucks. But we're going to do a commentary on it right now, so let's go right to it. And what is with the awkward Sonic intro? That just looks creepy. By the way, is anyone else shocked that he changed his intro into something more flashier? I mean, it's coming from the guy who hates Sonic's new design and- Damn it, now I'm feeding him! Oh, yeah! Well, let's start this fucking shit! And it's horrible. And seeing how he doesn't talk for one straight fucking minute, I'm gonna skip into this shitstorm. Where they said at the beginning of it, the coins was the most important aspect of the game. They are wrong. The coins don't make you beat the game. You will be heavily rewarded once you get one million coins. Oh, fuck no! You get one million coins, you get a fucking gay, fucking gay, fucking gay Mario statue and the fucking gay title screen. That's it! That's a reward you get for earning a million coins. That adds to the replay value. You play a lot and then you get rewarded for it. Why don't you get that? He just did. He said once you be in the game, you'll get a Golden Mario Trophy. And he found that disappointing. Again, derp for brains. Do they really expect us? to play this repetitively, like for a fucking year. No, I'm still working on a million coins. I got 250k. I got all the star coins, though, and five stars out of the f- Hey, and only- I played the game for only six- I, I barely played the game for a week, and I already got, like, a thousand coins. At this rate, I'll probably get a million coins in, like, um, one or two months. It shouldn't take a year. Exaggeration? The fuck is that? In like one day or so. And you know, some of the coins and stuff are pretty easy to find. Some of the secrets are easy to find. The game, it's just the fucking raccoon Mario. 
he gets a fucking leaf that you get in 3D Land to turn into Nuki, but he turns in Raccoon Mario with this leaf. It should have been fucking green like the Ballast Channel suggested. The leaf should have been green just like Mario 3 and in this fucking show. Now you complain about a leaf color. Oh my god, who the heck cares? Well, obviously he does. Besides, he has been known for ranting at small things like that for like, what, two, three years? So really, that isn't a surprise. I mean, what the fuck? And whenever you're coming down with the raccoon Mario, he does that little hovering ballerina pussy ass thing where you just like floating in the air wee, 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 wee. whenever in Mario 3 you flap your fucking tail Tanuki 3D Land Physics now even Luigi has some problems in this game he turns in a fucking fox the only reason Luigi turns in a fucking fox is because he's envious of Mario who gives a shit? Give him the Tanuki shit in the rack. Maybe he envies Mario because he's been living in his shadow the whole time. No shit! Besides, is it really a reason not to give Luigi a Tanuki suit? Uh oh. God, now I'm agreeing with him. What have I become? The only. The only game Luigi only had was Luigi's Mansion and the sequel. Those are the only two games that I probably remember. And the sequel probably hasn't released yet. You mean Luigi's Mansion 2 hasn't been released yet? Raccoon crap, that's like in Mario 3. I mean, the Toads turn in raccoons. And he turns in Silver Luigi. Well, then he turns the coin silver. But when you get 10, you don't get a fucking life like in Mario World. What the fuck? Okay, I haven't played the multiplayer yet, so correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't Luigi only playable in the multiplayer mode? Because judging from what I've heard, that sounds like the multiplayer mode to me. This game, it just ruins the fucking canon. And not even all the Koopalines can fit in this clown car. For now oh, and another thing? Stop with the freaking F-bombs! It's getting on everyone's nerves, and it's getting on mine. Him saying fuck isn't getting on my nerves, nor anybody else, because let me fill you in on something. No one falls for Mario to plumber anymore. So just stop it and get this over with. Hey, I knew he was going to say that somewhere, because there ain't going to be a Wii Team commentary without his trademark. Get on with it. Now, oh, all of a sudden, this clown car can turn Mario in stone when it gets angry. What the fuck? It was fucking angry in Mario World, but it didn't turn him to stone. The cannon's fucking ruined with this game. Nintendo just fucked themselves with this cannon. Now, let's get to the most important aspect, the character design. The character design in this uh -oh. game... Uh-oh. Now he's going to talk about Mario and Luigi's character design. Not it's going okay, to repeat myself. But, you know, the raccoon and the freaking fox shit is fucking gay. I don't want that fox shit. I don't want Silver Luigi. I want him to have Mario power-ups. Luigi's Mansion 2 is going to blow this game out of the fucking toilet because this game is one of the worst Mario games I ever played in my fucking life. Uh, dude. It apparently seems that everybody that got this game liked it, except you. Really? Because me personally, I found the game way too easy. And that really is a problem because nobody wants to play a game that doesn't have any challenge. And while the critics and gamers liked it, they did however have flaws with the game, like the lack of innovation and how easy it was. So I wouldn't really say everybody's in love with it, because everybody has an opinion, and again, Mario to Plumber is a troll. He's supposed to say that. He's trying to piss you off, and he is doing a good fucking job. 
Now the gameplay in this game. Just like Super Mario Bros. Wii. And New Super Mario Bros. 1 for the DS. But New Super Mario 1 for the DS is a good game. It gets a 10 out of 10. And then New Super Mario Bros. Wii, I guess it's getting a 10 out of 10. is kind of new. I thought that was the second one. So they're just going to whore out this New Super Mario Bros. engine shit? I thought... The reason why it's called New Super Mario Bros. 2 is because they both came from the same portable engine. And so was New Super Mario Bros. Wii. That has the same engine as the handheld ones. The first one on the DS, the second one on the 3DS. Why don't you get it? Well, I'm starting to run out of time here. We'll continue this on the next video. So... Hopefully we might finish on that video. I'm really sorry with the timing, but again, I'm sorry for that. I'll see you guys on the next, um, part. Well then, see you into part three. Welcome back. Let's continue. Alright guys, we are continuing on the Mario the Plumber's New Super Mario Bros. 2 rant. Let's just get this over with and hopefully it will be less miserable for all of us. Oh, but the misery isn't from Ari to Plumber. No, it's from you. So they're just gonna whore out this new Super Mario Bros. engine shit? I thought Super Mario Bros. 4 was gonna get announced at E3. Not more of this new shit that's been six years old. It shouldn't be called new. It should be called horse shit, stupid Mario Thanks 2. Okay, that's not... That's not creative in the slightest. Yeah, says the same guy that commentated on two dead horses. Second, a new like a soup, new Super Mario Brothers four. I mean, I I get the new Super Mario Brothers and the new Super Mario Brothers Wii, but where's the third one up to this point? I haven't seen a third game of the new new title for a while now. You're looking at it. Besides, you missed the point. Nintendo teased Super Mario Bros. 4 and, and thus the fans' pants were creamed. Coming from a gamer, why haven't you heard of it? And I hate to use the research card because I am a major abuser of that, but if you did look up Super Mario Bros. 4, then you'll see what he's talking about. And besides, like I told you before, this is the second one on a portable system. But, this is the third one in the new Super Mario Bros. series. First being Super Mario Bros., then Super Mario Bros. 3, and then new Super Mario Bros. 2. You know, I'm starting to think that you are blind. I mean, they don't even borrow elements from Super Mario Bros. 2 for the NES. They just take shit from Mario 3 and take some Resnors from Mario World and say, Hey, we got Mario 3, Mario World, and Mario 1 shit in here, but not Mario 2! Because it's not canon! Um, the reason they probably didn't put Mario 2 in it, because it involves throwing things, and supposedly, Super Mario Bros. 2 was copied from Doki Doki Panic. SUPPOSEDLY?! I think you mean they did! Besides, he was emphasizing on how Super Mario Bros. 2 isn't canon, even though it is called Super Mario Bros. 2. I mean, shit, I'm not even that hardcore of a gamer, yet I know more about this than you do. That's why they didn't put the elements back in this game. Because basically, Super Ma the real Super Mario Bros. 2 is basically the same thing as Super Mario Bros. 1. Except why harder. You... I'm not gonna repeat myself. Yeah, no, just wait until the next part. Mario 2 is fucking canon as fuck! These fucking Japan fags working at Nintendo ruining the image of Mario! They need to make more American influenced games and freaking make all the American stuff canon! This is fucking gay! I don't see what you're going with this, and Mario has not been going downhill just because this game came out. In fact, I think we've been getting a lot more fans recently because this game came out. Ragging at Mario for making an assumption, yet you make one. 
This cup of hypocrisy is just to die for. <sighs> this is even worse than Sonic Games reviews. I'm gonna give this game. I'm serious. I'm giving this game a fucking two out of ten. Yeah, that's right. I think some modern Sonic games are better than this game. Yeah, that's right. I. You criticize the modern Sonic games more than the Mario games. How could they be? I mean, out of all the Mario games you criticize, you only criticize one. You criticize every Sonic game from Sonic Adventure to Sonic Generations now. Even though he likes Sonic Generations. Well, well, okay, it's just the classic levels, but those still count! You even criticize Sonic 3 and Sonic 2 for ridiculous reasons. So how can the modern Sonic games be better than this? Opinions? The fuck are those? Besides, just for the sake of argument, does ragging on a lot of Sonic games and then says that a Mario game is worse than those means that isn't invalid? Wait, hold on, I can answer that question. You're a Sonic fanboy! Said modern Sonic games are better than this game. For a Mario game, this is just a poor-ass excuse. And the Ballish Channel also found out two typos on this game, especially on the manual. Obviously fucking Rust like Sonic Generations. Maybe just Rust a little bit more. I mean, this game fucking sucks. You get everything in this game, you don't get nothing! Um, you do get something. In my last video I said, after you get a million coins, you get a statue. That's at least something. Again, for the sake of argument, it's his opinion. And wouldn't you at least be happy that this game has better gameplay? Better gameplay than what? From his opinion, he hates the gameplay and everything about it. But oh no! He has a different opinion than you do! Do the lambasting mobile! Nothing! And I guessed, I guessed the secret final boss was gonna be fucking Dry Bowser. You can even ask the Ballish channel. He's like, yeah, there's another Star World within our castle. I wonder who the boss is. I'm like, it's probably Dry Bowser since he fell in the lava. And guess what? I was fucking right. This The final boss is not Dry Bowser. The actual final boss is Bowser. Is there really a difference? It's just Bowser. Seriously, have you ever played this game before? Well, maybe he did. I mean, really, just think about it. For all we know, Mario the Plumber is probably a really good gamer, and he could still be sitting on his chair making troll videos to get fanboys' panties in a twist. Crazy ass shit has got to stop with Nintendo. Why do they have to have two 2D Mario games this year? It's never happened in the history of Mario. Two 2D Marios in one year. Main canon games. So we got New Super Mario Brothers 2 and New Super Mario Brothers U. U looks better, but the squirrel outfit is fucking. Um, the reason why I prefer to play New Super Mario Brothers 2 more than New Super Mario Brothers U is because New because it's on a really expensive portable console. Oh, so you're one of those people that likes to brag that they are playing their games on an expensive console. Even though the 3DS received a price drop last year. Uh, unless you are talking about the Wii U. It's even more expensive than the 3DS. Go figure. One, use a script next time. Two, no shit the Wii U is expensive, it just came out this holiday. And three, have you even played New Super Mario Bros. U? S see what I'm doing? I'm making an assumption. I you like those apples? This is fucking horrible. I don't know what to think about this game, but this is the first time I've ever come to my senses to review a fucking Mario game on my channel. Cause all the other- Okay. One. You criticize every game in the Sonic series. Now you're criticizing Mario? 
Actually, when you think about it, it kind of makes sense. I mean, really, Sonic Heroes 2, which I think is the new Sonic game, correct me if I'm wrong, is, is still in development, I think. And seeing how he keeps on lauding praise for the Mario franchise, it seems kind of fitting. Dude, you need to get off of YouTube. <laughs> no, too obvious. Besides Mario Tennis Open, but, you know, I didn't play that game. I just heard from the Ballas channel that that game fucking sucked. Oh, so just because a guy tells you it sucks, you automatically think it sucks. Wow, you're stupid. Well, that's what reviews are for. They are there to persuade the public into agreeing with their opinions. Besides, you're dealing with a troll, so really, no- Oh yeah, and one more thing. This guy's a troll. What? Oh yeah, and one more thing. This guy's a troll. What? Yeah, that's right. This guy just wants to get attention by saying bad things about good games. So what are you telling me is that you are aware that this guy's a troll and you're still commentating on him? Oh my god. Please, if you don't know how to make videos on YouTube, just get off of YouTube for good. And please do everyone a favor. You should really take your own advice. Game drew the line for me. Now, if there's gonna be more shitty Mario games, like Paper Mario Sticker Star, or some shit like that, if it's not good, I'm gonna review it. Uh oh. And I'm not gonna give it pop. <sighs> well, it's official. He's gonna start start reviewing uh, and possibly hating Mario games. Again, thank you, Captain Obvious. Oh my freaking god! As a feedback, probably. If I review a Mario game on this channel, it's probably not gonna get positive feedback because everybody in the world knows Mario One through World are the fucking best Mario games. And Mario 64, Mario Sunshine, Mario Galaxy, Mario Galaxy Two. I mean, those are great games. They have freaking Good settings, good soul in the game, and great differences to differentiate them from other titles in the series. This is just a fucking rehash piece of shit going, Hey, there's treasure chest in Mario 3, so in this one, there's treasure chest in Mario Super Mario Bros. 2 as well! Oh, well, I ran out of time again. But trust me, I will finish Mario the Plumber in the next video. Seriously, I really want to get this over with. I know we all want to get this over with. Yeah, I'm wasting my time on you again. But I promise I'll finish in the next video. So, until then, I'll see you guys later. Well then, tune in to part 4 to end this chapter in Wee Teen's shitty commentating career. And welcome to the final part of this commentary. Let's end this bullshit! Alright guys, I'm just gonna, well, I'm waiting X here, and we're gonna do another part on the Mario News for My Brothers 2 rant. Also, go watch the other two parts if you hadn't. And honestly, I regret doing so. Let's just get this over with, like I said in my last video, I'm not gonna repeat myself. Speaking of you repeating your things, and I did mention that I was going to bring this up, didn't you repeat yourself saying that Mario the Plumber is now going to bitch at the Mario games, or how he ranted at all the Sonic games? Yeah, you have no room to talk. How is it possible to have a 2006 Nintendo DS game called New Super Mario Brothers better than a 2012 game. How is that possible? How? With Maybe because this one is better than the original? To because you! The original only had six worlds. This has six worlds and three, and three secret ones, including the Star World. 
So you prefer New Super Mario Bros. 2 over New Super Mario Bros. 2 because it has more levels. That's like saying that I prefer Melon Calling the Infinite Sadness over Siamese Dream because it has more songs on it. The technology we have today, we should be able to create better platforming games than we did in the past. But no! This game is a freaking piece of shit. I highly suggest you to not buy this game. This game fucking sucks. I've never passed out, passed on a fucking... 3D or 2D Mario title in the main canon series. But, man, I wonder how they're going to make New Super Mario Bros. 3. They better stop this New Super Mario Bros. shit and make Super Mario Bros. 4. Because I'm tired of this new shit. It's not even new. This is new because it's a new series. They start the new series with New Super Mario Bros. Which they put onto the Wii. No, they didn't! They put this game on the DS, you moron! And how could you possibly miss that when you've mentioned the other game in the past? It's set better and more more creative. Then, and again, this is the second one on a portable console, not including the Wii U. The reason it was called New Super Mario Bros. U because it was on the Wii U. What? No! This is New Super Mario Bros. 2. That is New Super Mario Bros. U. And it isn't for the Wii. I hate to say this again, but get a downloader and use a script. I know for a fact this game is fucking rushed. It is fucking rushed. Okay, I beat the fucking whole game in one day. I can get fucking a million coins in maybe one or two days with a freaking 18k to 26k coin trick each coin run and coin rush. But Listen, it will take you more than- it must have taken you at least more than one or two days to complete the game. It took me nearly a week just to complete the six worlds. And I haven't completed everything in it. So yeah, you must not have completed the whole game in just one day. If I can't, you can't. So, let me get this straight. You're assuming that Mario Diplomer hasn't beaten the game because you haven't beaten it yet. Well, okay then. One. And again, he's probably a good gamer for all we know. Two. Then by your own logic, you are the best gamer ever because if you haven't beaten it yet, then nobody in this entire freaking world has. Because there is a lot more gamers that are probably better than you. No, this is a fucking waste of time. It is a fucking waste of time. You know, when you play some new Mario games, like new 2D Marios, like Super Mario Bros. Wii, New Super Mario Bros. 2, do you remember the level layout or the levels themselves or the setting? No! You always forget the shit. Now, I can remember some things in New Super Mario Bros. 1, but in Mario 1, 2, 3, and World, I can remember all of that shit like the back of my fucking hand. Because it was memorable, it was iconic, and it was revolutionary for its time. This... Don't you think New Super Mario Bros. 2 and New Super Mario Bros. Wii series was memorable too? Have you ever thought of that, Mario the Plumber? The commentary is almost over, just let's get this done. It's not! This is a freaking, hey, we're gonna take elements from those good games and put them in here so you can remember it all. What is with platforming games today? They always make games where they're new, but they take stuff from the old games and go, Hey! Why don't you remember this? Why don't you have this stuff new for what, you fucking fags? And that's it. That's the entire video. I I'm dead serious, that's how it ends. Even though we can see that, but you think that all of us can't see in front of our goddamn motherfucking faces? Y yeah, th that that's nice. That that's fucking wonderful. 
This video gave me a freaking headache. There are several problems I have with this. One, he didn't go in the news for my brothers too in detail. Pot calling the kettle black. Second, he kept on complaining the color of the leaves and the pow blocks for some reason. Even though he did that before with the previously mentioned Sonic games. So really, go figure. Three, he said it didn't have any impact on anybody. Well, it had impact on me, so I sure it had impact on somebody else. And he kept on saying the F word throughout the entire video. <sighs> Seriously, Mario the Plumbing, you need to get a freaking life. Damn it, too easy again. This game is a good game. I've played it. I haven't played all of it, but i played most of it. And I will keep playing, and I'll lock everything in to show you. Mario the Plumber, you're, you're just freaking retarded. You need to get off of YouTube. Get off and of YouTube so and should you. Please. And do not bash on the Mario games. And don't bash on the Sonic games either. Even though he did. There is a thing in English called past and present pretext. You should learn it. If you if you don't know how to do videos on YouTube, then just get off of YouTube for good and do everyone else a favor. Again, this take your own advice. This is the worst I have ever seen. Anyways... I'm meeting X here, saying goodbye, and maybe I, I, I'm not sure. I may do more more Mario the Plumber um, videos in the future. I'm not sure. Oh, please, for the love of God, don't! For what I've seen here, you shouldn't even consider doing another commentary ever again. But let me. But this is gonna be an example. This is an example of nearly every one of his Sonic videos too. I bet you that the next time I view Mario the Plumber's videos, it'll be exactly like this one. So it'll be a complete piece of shit? Well, good to know! But I might, I might do it anyway. I, I'm not sure. Anyways, this is Weeting X, signing out.